Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another weather update here on Liam's Weather. I am forecaster Liam Kenny, and and uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the forecast over the course of next week as a potential major winter storm sets up across portions of the South Central Plains and also across the Midwest as well. As you head into your day on Wednesday, our upper level low is going to be forming over the state of Oklahoma. We have the we have the possibility for severe weather across the state of Missouri into Arkansas and all the way down into the Gulf Coast as well. Across portions of the Midwest, we also have the potential for a major snowstorm and ice storm as well. As you head into your day on Thursday, our front shifts to the east now. We're now we're looking at uh, places across the eastern seaboard for the, for the possibility of severe weather as well. Thankfully, I think it should be just mostly a rainmaker. I think the worst severe weather action is going to be happening over the Tennessee, Kentucky, and Mississippi Valley, and it should and it should mostly just be a rainmaker by the time it gets to the eastern coast as well. As far as how much severe weather we could be seeing, it all depends on how much thunderstorm action is going to be in the, in the atmosphere, and that is what we call CAPE. So let's go ahead and take a look at how much CAPE we're going to be having in the atmosphere as you head throughout the day on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as well. Um, as you can see here on Wednesday, we do have a little bit of CAPE showing up here across southern Kansas, central Oklahoma, and also the eastern tier there in um, Texas as well. And then eventually as you head into your day on Thursday, now we're now that Cape level is shifting to the east now into Arkansas, eastern Texas, Louisiana, and then eventually into Alabama as well. Here's a look at your SPC outlook for throughout the day on Wednesday. Anywhere in northeastern Texas, northwestern Louisiana, southwestern Arkansas, and also southeastern Oklahoma as well. That's where we have the possibility for severe weather throughout the day on Wednesday. And then eventually, as you head into your Thursday, our threat shifts a little bit more towards the east now. And now we're looking at states, and now we're looking at places in the states of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Kentucky, Tennessee, a very small portion there in southern, in southern Missouri, and then also across portions of eastern Arkansas as well. How much snow could we be seeing within this? Please know that this is uh, that this storm is still three to four days out. So this forecast is likely to change. Here's a look at the GFS model of how much snow we could be seeing um, all the way from Wednesday all the way throughout your day on Friday. The GFS is picking up a little bit more snow, especially across the states of eastern Arkansas, especially across portions of uh, eastern Kansas, uh, central portions of Missouri, all the way up throughout northern Illinois into Michigan and then all the way into Canada as well. The European model isn't picking up as much snowfall within the system, but we're still seeing at least six to eight inches, if not more than that. I think uh, the, the European model is shifting a little bit more, is shifting most of the snowfall just a little bit more towards the south now, but it's still a very strong storm could be unleashing over the eastern and central tier of the United States as you head into next week. At, uh, for more uh, weather updates, be sure to check out my website at leamsweather.org.